Um, all right. Well, good morning. Uh, I'm Michael Robles. I'm here with uh, Mrs. Mariani and Mr. Resch. And uh, good morning. And uh, I'm just here to talk about FSC week and uh, ask some questions. So um, first, I was just wondering, um, the first like the first topic of S uh, FSC week is uh, respect for all people. And um, I was just wondering, what does that mean to both of you? Uh, who wants to start? <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead, Meredith. Sure. Um, you know, from a personal standpoint, it's actually pretty similar to how I would perceive it in the classroom here, but it's making room for everyone's narratives and allowing them to share what their stories are and their experiences and having a place where they can do that and feel heard and seen. And, you know, our lives move at such an incredible pace, even during COVID-19, that sometimes we, we forget just to listen and, and hear people's experiences and their stories. And to me, it, that respect of all peoples allows room for, this is my experience, this is my life, this is my history, this is my future, and allowing that to be shared in a place where everyone can sit and appreciate and, and hear those, those stories. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually tough to follow up. For me, I'll actually kind of melt right into the second question. And as Mr. Okay. I said, it's a uh, just recognition of other people and experiences and being open to uh, listening and learning and sort of hearing other people and what they've been through. We all can recognize our own experiences, but as much as an individual can be sensitive and aware of others is and show that respect for all people is incredibly important i think one of the great things and this is where i'm moving into the second question is one of the things i love about LaSalle is that uh, i really feel that whatever your uh, area of interest and maybe uh, expertise or um, where you spend a lot of your time along with your school work whether it's band or sports or service or a club like speech and debate or your lab manager or student government any of those things um, i feel like our students are like that's awesome right there's not really um, any sort of ah that's not cool or what have you people respect uh, all the other community members for the great strengths that they bring and interests that they bring to our overall community so i think that's pretty unique and great aspect of uh LaSalle. And one thing I think that's special about LaSalle that you don't always see is sort of the opportunities, you know, to branch out and try new things, even if it's something that you've never experienced before, you have no background in. Everyone is very supportive here of putting your toes in sort of uncharted waters and saying, you know, this sounds really interesting and I have no idea what it's about, but you know, what? I'm going to I'm going to try it anyway. And and I there's some of these moments where you know you go to the musical or you go to a sporting event or even on field day and you see students that you would never expect to be on the stage singing and dancing or being able to you know hit a hole in one or or, or horseshoes or whatever and the joy <coughs> that you see from fellow students and faculty when you are surprised by someone's skill or love of something new it's the cheering is awesome and i think that's so fun it's so fun to see i can be who i want to be and i can follow those dreams down wherever they take me and i'll have these great classmates and brothers here to support me i just think that's really special definitely um well that kind of brings us to our third question and it's uh how have you witnessed respect for all people during your time as a teacher here so yeah i guess i mean I, I i touched on this already as a guidance counselor i have the real uh, great fortune of shout out for class of 2022 to to talk to all of the students in our grade and and uh as mrs mariani just mentioned and see the diversity of talents and interests and um, also as she mentioned students that sort of thought they were gonna follow do this thing and find something totally different that, that catches them and interests them and brings them into uh, something totally different that maybe they had anticipated, which is incredible. Um, one of the things, and I guess this is maybe the counselor in me talking in respect for all people that I think are 
uh, faculty and staff and administration do a great job of is the other part of people is yourself. And I think the last uh, year or so has been especially challenging in all aspects of society in terms of just uh, not as much interaction and being out and uh, hybrid school and all that stuff. So I think our faculty and again, staff administration really has worked hard as well as our students, most importantly, to sort of recognize um, helping others and themselves in these challenging times. So that can be really difficult. Young guys tend to kind of want to hold everything in. And, and I think that respect for self and recognizing the challenges that have existed for everyone over this last year. Plus, um, I really am proud of our community and its resilience and kind of willingness to to support as well as be supported um, by others in the community. Definitely. And to back up the idea of support, I because of, of COVID-19, you know, I gained the opportunity to go on two senior Kairos retreats, which is to me a special treat since I'm only allowed to do one usually in a regular year. And I really wanted to emphasize how special our campus ministry and service program is in helping our students be more present and aware of each other's stories and narratives and being able to communicate those stories to each other and share them in a way that really binds us together as a community. And it's been so challenging, like Mr. Resch said, to achieve that type of connection in a year like we've had. And again, there's just these special little elements that LaSalle does so incredibly well that provides for me as a faculty member, really unique and special experience that it feels very much like I'm part of a family here. I'm part of a community that is unparalleled anywhere else. And it's because of these small things like the Kairos retreats, like our junior retreats, like FSC week, giving us the opportunity to really bond together and, and feel that sense of togetherness and support. And that's really special. Um, all right, well, that, that concludes the interview. Um, thank you. I appreciate both of your answers or questions. Yep. And uh, thanks, Mike. Yeah. Yep.